talking about Halloween events for adults. Now, our next guest is here to tell us about a spooky one this Friday night. It's right out of the thriller Silence of the Lambs, and it's in a location that may surprise you. John McCabe of Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall is here to tell us about that and some upcoming events for Veterans Day in November. Good morning. Good morning. So you, you have a little prop here, but you have to tell us about what's going on at Soldiers and Sailors. Oh, Silence wow. of the Lambs. Yeah, this, this week, actually this, this whole week is kind of Silence of the Lambs week. We have a, uh, a replica cage that was donated, built for us by Hundred Acres Manor, who's very popular in the area. Um, they build the haunted houses, but we, we put the cage back up in the ballroom, uh -oh. our beautiful ballroom that, that many, many brides and grooms have been married in. Years in 25, 26 years ago, it was where the cage scene of Silence of the Lambs was filmed. So. It, was, it was shot it was right shot, there. Right, right. And there's a few other scenes throughout the, the memorial uh, that were shot leading up to it and following that. So um, we felt it's it, not necessarily related to our mission, but many people don't really know what Soldiers and Sailors is, but they do associate it with, with Silence, Silence of the Lambs. Well, this so, is a good way to draw them in exactly. so you can get a glimpse of everything and else Friday, And it's not just that Friday night, our museum comes to life. We have a few of our exhibits downstairs so people get to see the exhibits. Uh, that's something that we do as frequently as we can. Um, but they're going to be coming to life in a way that's more uh, Halloweenish, so to speak. So. so what can people expect Friday night to celebrate Silence of the Lambs? Just a, a quick two hour happy hour. We have, um, we have cash bars so you can walk around with your, your drinks and check out the exhibits, check out, um, then go upstairs and check out actually where the cage is. We have one of the actors who was in the movie, uh, Sergeant Pembury, who was involved in that very iconic scene. Mm -hmm. uh, he is going to be visiting with us. Um, Hannibal Lecter sometimes shows up himself. We have our own version of Hannibal Lecter with a, a mask. mask. And you brought the mask. Yeah, you know, he. Oh, uh, yeah. See, I'm already creeped out. <laughs> <laughs> that's our that's our military version of Hannibal Lecter's mask. <laughs> it's actually a protective mask, a military uh, protective mask. Well, so there is so much more going on, and this sounds like such a fun night and gets you into the Halloween spirit. But um, coming up later in the month of November, you have something called the Cannonball, and this is so much fun and such a great way to, like you said, kind of bring awareness to what your mission is. It is. It's our fundraiser. It's an annual fundraiser for us, so we look to fill our, our ballroom as best as we can. It's a formal gala this year. Um, Tuxedos are optional, formal optional, so you can wear a suit um, if you choose and a, just a regular cocktail dress, kind of dress for a wedding. But we have lots of military there. But welcoming home, a special theme, welcoming home uh, veterans from Afghanistan and Iraq. Wow. We really haven't had a welcome home. Um, honoring Jack Wagner, who is a very, very much um, a supporter of veteran issues. So we'll be honoring him that evening. But we we still have lots of tickets available, lots of space available, so it's a great way to dress up, enjoy the museum, enjoy the memorial, and enjoy a, a gala. And there's a band, a sit-down dinner as well, and, yep. and a cocktail hour at the museum. Okay, so let's also talk about Veterans Day weekend because, of course, again, yes. your mission. And that's the same weekend as Cannonball, so we'll go right from our Cannonball evening into Sunday, which is Veterans Day. Normally we're not open on Sunday, but we have to be open on Veterans Day. And we are open to the free for the, for the public uh, beginning at 11 o'clock. And we're starting it with actually a national uh, event that's happening, tolling of the bells, bells of peace. It's marking the end of World War I, 100th anniversary of the end of World War I. So around the country they will be tolling bells. We will be doing the same thing with a replica or with a, uh, an artifact from our collection that was on the USS Pittsburgh submarine and that starts at 11 o'clock, open free to the public. Um, and we have a few new World War I exhibits that will be on display for the first Very time, cool. including a collection of rare, I think it's 102 insignia patches um, from World War I. It's really, truly an incredible place. Thank you. You guys do a great job there. You get to work there every day. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us this You're morning. Welcome. Sounds like a lot of fun stuff going on. And again, come visit Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall and Museum in Oakland. Check out the website to find out more about the Silence of the Lambs cage event this Friday, the Cannonball on November 10th, and the Veterans Day events on November 11th. You'll find the link at kdka.com slash PTL.